Sure. You can take pictures of everything. Explain to me, why don't you write from the beginning, what, what's actually going on? What is Garmin trying to do with this motorcycle? So for this motorcycle, Garmin made what we call a smart cluster. So we have integrated, we did the, we're responsible for the hardware and the software piece for, for the bike. Um, and then we took it and we integrated it in to the bike. So it, it receives bike engine data through CAN, the uh -huh. CAN bus system, and then we're able to send information back and forth through the CAN. Sure. So this gives us, uh, the rider has access to miles per hour and other bike information through a digital, digital cluster. So it gets rid of those analog gauges. Um, it also supports uh, CarPlay and eventually Android Auto. Um, so you can hook up your phone and that brings navigation in and media, so things like that. So it, it is also a standalone media player, but if you, if you prefer CarPlay or Android Auto, then you can have media access through that as well. Okay. So, yeah. Show me. Yeah, let's talk about costs first and then maybe they'll well, move this, on. So this, this is a factory program, okay. so it's installed at the factory. It is not offered on the aftermarket. So the cost of the particular smart cluster is just built into the bike. So there's, oh, I see. Obviously there's a cost uh -huh. for Honda, but there's, there's not an MSRP for this particular. But you order that when you order the bike, basically. It's, on, it's already on the bike. It's on the bike. Yep. So there is no there is no ordering process. It comes standard on the bike. All right, and uh, so if I walked into a Honda dealer in my area, and you will not see this bike at this time. So this this bike is actually launching in Europe initially, and it will be on sale there, and then eventually it will go to global other other markets. So I see globally sold, but Europe is its its, its uh, initial launch market. Uh huh. So what I'm looking at really here is the future. Is the future, yes, that's uh -huh. right. It will be sold in North America. Um, that time frame is TBD. So that'll be, that's, we have no control over that, obviously. Right, that'll right, right. The Honda sales and marketing. So. Uh huh. Well, great. How about you give me a demonstration of the parts? Let me get an overall shot here. Okay, now I just turned in a Honda 100 to be tuned up. This obviously is a little, bit, a little bit bigger than that. A little bit more going on here, yeah. <laughs> so this is a big bike. And again, we're really just responsible for the, the infotainment portion of it. Uh -huh. so when it, the bike is not in motion, it's a full touch screen. Uh -huh. So it's gonna bring up your your different uh, your different screens that have information about the bike, speed, RPMs, power, um, torque, your uh, uh, brake system, so things yeah. like that, obviously fuel. You have different modes that you can scroll between based on whatever, whatever type of terrain you're riding on. Ah. So touring mode, urban, gravel off-road and then we also have two unique user setups so you can go in and customize your settings based on um, the, the, the user one or user two mode. Okay so if I wanted to ride it down in Mexico on the beach that could be one of my user you bet. profiles. So you can come into the settings here to settings, function, user mode, user one and now you see all the different customizable yeah settings. okay is this the first year Garmin has offered this package this is the first year Garmin has offered this so we up until this point all of our business with the power sports companies is usually yeah. Uh, it's either aftermarket or it's some sort of, of factory program based on one of our aftermarket products. This was the first time we actually designed a hardware or a, an automotive. Um, uh, all the all the components are automotive grade. So right. we did the plat hardware platform, we did the software, and integrated it in. Okay, now my experience with Garmin has always been GPS, yep. handheld. Is all that built into this, basically? I mean, 
Um, I wouldn't say it's all built in. This is all very motorcycle specific. Yeah. So what we did here is based on the uh, yeah on a motorcycle uh -huh. user and what they would need. Sure. Um, obviously, we do we do share technology from our other segments. Right. Um, when it makes sense, we will integrate that into the product as needed, or if the customer wants it. But right. This particular product is. Very but if much I really want, specific. just tell where I am on the planet Earth, and I want directions. Right. So this that, has it. Well, this this does this does not have navigation built oh. in. So that's why we make it CarPlay and Android Auto com, uh, compliant. So oh, you can I plug see. your phone in and launch CarPlay, and then you get navigation through CarPlay. Oh, I see. Okay. Eventually, you'll be able to use Android Auto uh -huh. to uh, you know plug a uh, Android phone in and have navigation. Uh huh. So. Yeah, but there is no navigation that comes with this device. I see, I see. That that's you have to that's use, use your phone. Yeah, which you're already doing anyway, yep. used yep. to doing it. Uh -huh. So the other thing I'd point out here is that in addition to being able to use this as a touch screen, yeah. we've also uh, this is can only be used when you're not moving, but when you are moving the, the rider can use the handlebar toggles over here uh -huh. to control. Oh the I see. So they can go through the different screens uh -huh. by using without taking their hands off the bar. So they can be moving yeah. and and uh, have access to the full function of the cluster. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. Now, uh, is this package on all Honda bikes? Nope. Just the Africa Twin right now. Uh huh. So okay. we'll see what the future holds if they reuse it on any of their other on any of their other bikes, but right now it's only comes on the Africa. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, it seems like an exciting new feature. Yeah, it's exciting for Garmin. It's uh, you know it's been a good partnership between Honda and Garmin. Um, so now we'll we'll see how the market reacts to it. And, uh huh. Uh, hopefully, it, you know, we'll continue to uh, work together on on future business. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, thanks very much for your explanation. You bet. Thanks for coming by. Uh, you're welcome.